Hey friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to just make something super simple. Um, my husband, he's on his way home and I have a later doctor's appointment to try to figure out what's going on with my nose and throat still. I've been snoring like crazy at night, which I don't normally snore, so I don't know for sure if anything's going on. I don't think anything is, but there's a new doctor here in town that he's a little bit more, I guess, holistic. So that's right up my alley. Um, I don't really trust a lot of doctors and especially ones that don't really know much about the whole trach area but so tonight I am just gonna make a actual tuna melt um, now the other day when I had placed my order I had play I had asked for um, Texas or not Texas excuse me French bread because I wanted to have some for like French bread pizzas well they didn't have that they had the Italian loaf and I think I could probably just cut some of that up actually just for the same much as tonight so that's what we're gonna do I'll bring it down here so Obviously, I'm going to take off the very end because that's probably not going to work very well. I'll eat that myself. So um, what we're probably going to do is just do um, three sandwiches and, um, well, maybe on these because they're not that big. Maybe I'll just make the four sandwiches. Um, so I took the juice out. And I'm giving that to Gizmo because he likes tuna juice. He's not eating tuna anymore, but he likes the tuna juice still. So make sure I'm keeping track here of how many I'm making. And this is actually a bread knife. So if anybody is wondering, it does help. I don't know for sure how much more it helps versus not a bread knife, but nonetheless I like it and then the rest of this is actually just going to go in a bag and I'm probably going to go ahead and put that um, in the freezer and get that going um, let that let that go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bowls out get the mixture stuff ready to go and we'll show you what I do so you guys have all seen me use my Vidalia chopper I love this thing Cuts veggies up so nice. So I like my onions a little bit smaller. But we like our eggs a little bit bigger. And these are eggs that I make up on Sundays to go in my salad. We made a few extra today, this week. So I said, well, we could use it in these sandwiches. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the four. I don't really like a lot of tuna. But um, a tuna melt did sound pretty yummy today. Because we've not had one in a very, very long time. And I thought, why not, right? And of course, it's helpful if I unload the dishwasher. So I don't have any fresh celery. So what I did is I took some of my freeze-dried celery, and that's already back from being um, it's reconstituted. I'm dumping out the extra water right now. So that's gonna be that. And what I'm gonna do, I think the one can's gonna be enough. If not, I will open up another can. But usually once you get all those extras in there, it spreads pretty good, and like I said, I'm not a big, super big fan of tuna anyways. So I'll go ahead and throw in the celery. And throw in the onions and eggs. Now we are a Miracle Whip family here. Um, that's Walmart sale addressing. <laughs> because they start going up in price and I just don't want to pay that crazy amount of money. So put some mayonnaise in here. And then give this a big whirl. See, so for me, I'm getting more of like an egg sandwich with a little bit of tuna. And my husband will be fine eating it this way too, so. 
just a little bit more mayonnaise. I don't like a dry sandwich, so I try not to do that. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and keep stirring this. I'm going to get the cheese out and stuff and get this ready, and we will uh, just make up some tuna melts. And we're just going to have this with some chips, and um, I mean, that ends up looking pretty tasty. I mean, I don't add any salt or pepper to this or anything, and um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just break the piece of cheese in half. That piece was really super thick and this one was really thin. Must have been the bottom of the the cheese piece. Block of cheese or whatever when they were doing that. Now I don't add butter or some people put Miracle Whip on this. I don't add butter or Miracle Whip on the bread. I mean, why have the extra fat and calories and stuff if you don't really need to, right? Give this another stir. And then start putting this on the sandwiches. See how much of a mess I can make. One thing I like to try to do is when I do the tuna melts or chicken melts, I try to put this in a tray because that just gets a heck of a mess in my June or whatever toaster oven I had at that time. And with those extra eggs in here, not that my husband would probably want to take this to work anymore because he just, he can't, um, his old jobs allowed him to kind of like set a little bit more. This one doesn't always do it at lunchtime and stuff. So it's very hard for him to eat messier sandwiches or take hot lunches. Which I get it. You know, I'm, I'm spoiled. I work from home so I can have whatever I want whenever I want it. He's not that fortunate. And I'm going to have a little bit of shredded cheese. I mean, shredded lettuce on my two. He said that he didn't want that. I know it makes the lettuce a little bit warm and stuff, but it's fine. All right. And all we got to do is put tops on all these. I guess I should put this one in that's smaller. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the June. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So here, friends, here they are out of the free, out of the June oven. And I'll see if I can not make a mess trying to plate this up. I'm only going to put one sandwich on my plate at a time because it's just too hard to not make a mess. I'll do that to my husband's too. But, you know, this was not a busy, busy dinner, but, you know, this is a nice fast dinner. Especially when you have plans for the day um, makes for it really nice so thank you very much for stopping by have you ever made your uh, tuna melts like this or how do you make yours any different let me know in the comments below and you have a very blessed and wonderful day